the largest ocean cleanup in the entire world. No way. We're testing a system out in the ocean right now that is set to be the largest ocean cleanup in the entire world. It's obvious that our ocean's getting flooded with plastic and trash. We're seeing it all over the internet. Searching for fish, but finding an ocean of plastic trash. Vietnam's Dalok Beach has almost more plastic than sand. The Philippines announced a temporary closure of Boroke, which has been called a cesspool. And disturbing videos and images of plastic-filled Bali have been emerging after authorities declared a garbage emergency. And what are we doing about all this? Well, there's people coming together, having volunteer ocean cleanups where they just spend a day or a few hours and clean up the shores. And there's even companies now that are coming together, cleaning the oceans, taking all that trash and rubbish and plastic, and even making products out of it. For instance, this bracelet I have, a buddy of mine gave it to me. Uh, it's from a company called Four Ocean. And what they do is they go out in the ocean with these massive boats, clean up all the plastic as much as they can, and recycle that plastic and trash and make bracelets out of it. It's actually pretty dope, I actually love this bracelet. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can see for yourself. It's fully made out of plastic and trash from the ocean. Literally keep this thing on me 24 seven. I'll be dead and this thing will be still on my wrist. However, there is one company that trumps all other companies. And this is the company that is set to have the largest ocean cleanup in the world. The company is called Ocean Cleanup. And get this, it was founded in 2013 by an 18 year old kid. His name is Boyan Slat. Look at him, look at that flow, jeez. I'm a little jealous. They have developed and deployed a $20 million system that's right now in the oceans and they're testing it out to see if their system actually works. Yes, it works. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I realized back in high school, there might be an alternative. Instead of going after the plastics, you could simply wait for the plastic to come to you. So they plan on cleaning the largest garbage patch in the world. It's called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Hey guys, so I paused the video real quick to let you know that that guy right there with the red chest is me. Okay, I burnt my chest trying to get this shot. So I really want you to appreciate and take in the shot. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And back to the video. And it's located right about here between Hawaii and California. It's two times the size of Texas. Massive. And this machine is planned to clean it. How this works, let's dive right into it. I'm gonna show you my screen. 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic float at the surface of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Here, the ocean cleanup is deploying the world's first technological solution to this growing problem. The principle behind it is simple. Create a coastline where there are none. Concentrate the plastic and take it out. The system consists of a 600 meter long floater and a three meter deep skirt attached below. The floater provides buoyancy to the system and prevents plastic from flowing over it, while the skirt prevents smaller particles from escaping underneath. As the impenetrable skirt creates a downward flow, marine life can safely pass beneath it. Both the plastic and system are being carried by the current. However, wind and waves propel the system only as the floater partly sticks above the surface, while plastic is primarily just beneath it. The system thus moves faster than the plastic, allowing the plastic to be captured. And because the system, like the plastic, is free floating, it automatically drifts to the areas with the highest plastic concentration. Periodically, a support vessel comes by to take out the concentrated plastic, like a garbage truck of the ocean. The plastic is then transported to land, recycled, and made into durable products. This is the first of a fleet of 60 systems. The fleet is expected to clean up 50% of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch every five years. It's pretty neat, right? Well, that system was deployed in September of 2018. However, there's been some malfunctions on it and it was sent to Hawaii, which was the closest island at the time, and it's been there since February 2019. And unfortunately, uh, for the last two months, it hasn't been doing what it's supposed to be doing and they're trying to fix it. But I read an article saying that they're gonna be deploying it again soon. I'm not too sure exactly when, but they use the word soon. So, stand by. If you wanna stay up to date about someone informative videos on our planet, and if you wanna get an update on this story as it unfolds, then please make sure to subscribe because I will most definitely be making another video on this. 
because I want to know if this thing actually works and if it's actually cleaning the ocean like it says it's doing. But for now, I want you to have a fantastic day, okay? Because you deserve it. No one else except you. Not that person over there, not that person over there, but you. All right? And I will see you again next week.